uh, Lieutenant General Keith Kellogg on what he thinks happens now. He joins us on the phone. General, what do you think? Yeah, hi, Neil. Thanks for having me. Look, first, to be very clear, this was an unprovoked attack on Shabbat, which is the Jewish holy day, like our Sunday. And Israel has every right and should respond with a significant military response. You know, make no mistake, Neil, this was a coordinated attack, well supported by the by state of Iran. You, you can see the use of drones, uh, the, the drone footage you see even attacking their armed vehicles. And I and think uh, what they really need right now, they, the Israelis, because they can handle things militarily. You know, never really asked, as General Keene said earlier, you know, in direct intervention, but they need a lot of moral support right now. This is where the world needs to stand up and say to the Israelis, look, we're behind you. Whatever the actions that you take, you know, we're going to be with you. It was an unprovoked attack on civilians. You notice that the crown of France has already come out, Orban of Hungary has already come out, Zelensky's already come out. You know, our president used to go out and say, okay, we're with you, Israel. We understand it's a difficult situation, but you need to respond. The concern I've got is this is not going to be a near term thing, meaning it's not going to be a pinprick. This is going to evolve to a much larger, in all politics, the potential of this is a larger war. And this is where Netanyahu is going to have to make some hard decisions. And the hard decisions are, what do you do going forward? Understand that Hezbollah of the north coming out of Lebanon will probably join in the attack. There will be nations that condemn them. But this is maybe when you almost have to super escalate. And what I need, mean by that deal is this is one of those saying, okay, we're going to have to bring this to a conclusion from a military state. And if that means going after their senior leadership, you do it. Unfortunately, this goes at the same time they're trying to normalize relations with Saudi Arabia. They've started to do that. They've done that working through the Abraham Accords. Uh, and this just complicates everything. But this was you know, done not only on a holy day, but also on the 50th anniversary of Yom, Yom Kippur War. So make no mistake, this was a deliberate attack that was done with provocation and deliberate thought behind it. So this is one of those. The Israelis are going to have to make some hard call, but I think it's going to extend itself as to the fight, and it's going to probably get a lot larger before it gets smaller. You know, General, you mentioned the 50th anniversary, as have I, because obviously those who wish others ill seize on important dates. It's also the anniversary of the assassination of Anwar Sadat. And I'm, I'm thinking more to the point about of those who even consider brokering peace or even talking to Israel. Uh, then in those instances, and of course now, um, doesn't go well. Now, very different situation behind the attack on the part of Syria and Egypt on Israel back 50 years ago. But it did lead to a chain of events that united the Arab world, what the, the, there was of that world at the time, um, to target the United States for its support of and for Israel. That ultimately led to all of them embargoing oil on the United States. And we can all remember the gas lines of those of a certain age. I certainly can, General. Um, I know it's different today, but I put that in, in, in some perspective here. What do you think? Yeah, Neil, I, yeah, I understand. But, you know, that was primarily like a military operation. What you're seeing on television today that you that Trey's covering so well there, there in Israel is this is an unprovoked attack on civilians. The, the pictures that are coming across are horrific. This would be a lot different from a military perspective. Uh, perspective is if it's force on force with military, but they're terrorizing civilians. And that's that to me crosses a line. I don't care if it's Syria using nerve gas on their civilians or people going in there shooting families, which you've actually seen on television this morning. And this this is an unprovoked attack. You think of you have to think of it like a nine eleven and an unprovoked attack on the World Trade Center and what the people did in Flight ninety three and, and taking down that aircraft. You have to look at it that way. And so that, that Netanyahu has to look at it that way. And so the question you have to ask yourself is what kind of escalation are you going to take? And, and hat, to me, the reason I talk about super escalation, and I know it's hard to even think about, but this is when you have to take it to a level that the entire world says stop. You have to go back and you have to figure out this has got to stop because of the violence that, that is occurring out there. And, and the Israelis are going to have to respond, and they're not going to respond kindly. In fact, that they've taken an Israeli general captive already, they the Palestinian authorities. Uh, they've killed civilians. They've driven. They've actually attacked in Israel. You see, potentially, uh, Hezbollah massing to the north. So this is going to get it's going to get a little bit out of control in the near term. But all Israel is asking for is moral support, and I think the world needs to give them moral support in a very tough time. They did not start this attack. The Palestinian Authority started this attack, and, and they are the ones killing the civilians. And they need to, they need to be held accountable for it. General Kellogg, thank you so much, sir, and for your
service to this country. Hey everyone, I'm Emily Campagno. Catch me and my co-hosts Harris Faulkner and Kaylee McEnany on Outnumbered every weekday at 12 p.m. Eastern or set your DVR. Also, don't forget to subscribe to the Fox News YouTube page for daily highlights.